um, so this video uh, I'm gonna show you what I did for the uh, tension arm uh, I did a bit uh, modification to uh, solve um, kind of shaking uh, problem so for the first I will show you what the problem is we do uh, the original and we see uh, what happened here And look at this, the vibration uh, started immediately. Now you see, now it's getting, uh, it gets very bad. I think this is good for a demonstration here. Now we have this little roller uh, on it and we will see how this is doing. We can see that the vibration is not, I mean, there is still, there is, there is still a sound of vibration, but it's not as bad as before. So next is that uh, I'm gonna try to give some uh, oil to this, see if this help. Now I just have one drop of machine oil.
So with all you, I think it is marginally better than before. I try to uh, add a roller to the arm. I tried to put the roller to the arm, and then uh, I used the uh, I used the rubber washer uh, to hold it in place. So what I did is very simple. First, I put the rubber, the washer at the back. Then I, uh, I put the this kind of uh, roller, and uh, in the middle. Then I put another uh, washer, and uh, to the other end to hold it in the place. And finally, to make sure it looks okay, so I put the small uh, rubber cap here so what that, that, that's all I did and in fact um, I tried two kind of rollers the first is just the this kind of the purely the bearing or the bushing bearing sleeve whatever you call that so this is just just really a metal tube without anything it's a six millimeter so it's just a barely in it. The second one I tried, that's this kind of the uh, needle uh, roller, which means there, there are some uh, uh, bearing, uh, bearings in it. I found out that this uh, uh, needle bearing roller uh, works better than this uh, just purely the, the metal tubes. So that's why I choose this. Yeah. See, and another thing uh, you can you can buy and you can use is uh, the um, ball bearing uh, pulleys, but those the outer diameter is just too large. And um, if this is too large, then uh, the tape will miss uh, this tape guide. So, um, I don't know, I, I haven't, I did not buy that, I haven't tried it, so I don't know if that's, that have effects or not. Um, maybe it's okay, maybe it's not. But for me, uh, this uh, small uh, little roller, little bearing roller wor works fine, and I think I'm just gonna use that. Now I have uh, the roller on both ends. So we will see uh, if this, uh, how this uh, works. All right, I think when I have the <laughs> roller on both sides, it's much, much better. You can see it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's much more stable, uh, like that. And uh, just be warning that um, the play, you can see it's uh, completely uh, good. But uh, if you just do the fast forward or rewind, That noise is completely normal. That's not noise that uh, the tape scratch, uh, like the washer or not, uh, like, uh, like that. It's, it's purely uh, the, the sound uh, of the uh, 
bearing rollers it's actually a sound of those uh, bearings inside if I mean if you are familiar with ball bearing you know what I'm talking about and the reason is because that uh, uh, the inner uh, diameter is six millimeter and the two uh, arm two road inside is not exactly six it's just a little bit uh, similar so, uh, so so that's why when you do this and you will hear uh, those uh, noise that's because it, when it spin very fast it produces a noise it's just because that but that's uh, it's not not big deal and it, it won't damage your tape it won't damage uh, anything uh, there it's just normal for the uh, for those uh, bearing uh, rudders That's just the sound of those those bearings. So, uh, but well, if that bothers you, so uh, then uh, your best bet maybe uh, just try to find is uh, the tension arm uh, from uh, five sixty one or five sixty two, which has a building rotor uh, in it. That's really what you have to do. All right.